everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be going through brands at Ulta that are and are not cruelty free. Obviously not going to be naming off every single brand because that is entirely too many. And I do also have a drugstore cosmetics edition uh, for cruelty free as well, as well as a Sephora cruelty free video. So I will leave those in the thingamajigger. And so like my other videos, I am going to name off some brands that are not cruelty free. So we have Benefit, Clearasonic, Clean and Clear, Clinique, CoverGirl, Dior, Elizabeth Arden, Garnier, Garnier? Eh. Elizabeth Arden. <laughs> Did I list Garnier twice? I just said that twice, didn't I? Elizabeth Arden, oops. Giorgio Armani, L'Oreal, Lancome, MAC, Maybelline, Neutrogena, Origins, Peter Thomas Roth, Revlon, Rimmel, and YSL. Uh, obviously, the list of not cruelty-free brands is longer. Those are just kind of the ones that I know just from going through the list. So yes, they're all in alphabetical order because I literally just went through Alta's list of brands. Um, and like my Sephora video, I'm going to have a list on my blog of brands that are and are not cruelty-free and will be updating it routinely as I get answers from brands because some brands I'm just not sure about their cruelty-free status. So I've emailed a ton of brands now. So yeah, as those roll in, it will keep updating. Uh, and you also notice that I don't have any nail polish brands listed in this because I'm going to be having a separate video on cruelty-free nail polish options. And I've been testing a lot of nail polishes for like, I feel like the past month, like I've been testing out a few different ones because I feel like I just kind of use the same ones, but I wanted to test out new ones just to kind of give more options for that video. So that will be coming soon. Uh, but the next list is cruelty-free brands that I have mentioned in previous videos, just so I wouldn't become too repetitive. Um, so these ones are Anastasia Beverly Hills, Bare Minerals, Becca, Catrice, Cover FX, Elf, Essence, First Aid Beauty, LA Girl, Lottie London, Smashbox, Sleek, Tarte, Too Faced, Urban Decay, Wet n Wild, and Yes Too. Uh, so the next list, which I'm not gonna lie, is fairly long, are brands that I may have mentioned like in passing, but haven't gotten around talking about them too much, at least that I'm aware of. Uh, the first brand I actually don't know how to pronounce. It is spelled B-A-T-I-S-T-E, and it's a dry shampoo brand, and it says right on their dry shampoo, cruelty-free and vegan, and I have purchased a few of their products now. I had one that was like a tropical kind of scent, and I really liked that one. Right now I'm using a pink one that's like a floral and I actually don't like that one as much. I feel like it sprays a little more violently than I would like it to and I've noticed that it kind of leaves a white cast. Like I used it today and I feel like there's still kind of like a white cast especially near my roots where I sprayed it. Um, so if you have darker hair definitely be aware of that because I normally don't get white cast since my hair is lighter but thought I would point that out there. Uh, the next one is BH Cosmetics. Um, which obviously you can also purchase them on their own website. You don't have to go through Ulta. But um, I like a lot of BH Cosmetics eyeshadows. I haven't tried too much else from them and their website will tell you what is um, vegan and what is not, which is obviously helpful. But uh, I feel like I need to try out more from them because I definitely have not. I mostly just like their eyeshadows. The next one is Buxom and I know they're sold at Sephora as well but for some reason I like forgot to include them in my list from Sephora and I did email them asking them about their vegan options and they said um, that they have certain ingredients like um, carmine which is like crushed up insects in some things that are so it would make it not vegan friendly but some of their stuff is. Uh, I did post what they had email to me on my blog, so I'm gonna leave a link to that in the thing with Jigger if you wanna check it out more. Uh, the next one is Conair, and I was really happy to see that they are cruelty-free because when I was looking for a new hair straightener, I was like, why are so many of these brands not cruelty-free? Why? Of course, I think that all the time, but it was just especially annoying trying to find a good hair straightener that wasn't like crazy expensive but was cruelty free and I do have a straightener from them now that I like so 
would recommend. I just hit something over here. You probably can't even tell. Uh, the next one is to find me fragrance. And um, I've mentioned before that I'm not really into fragrances. I'm just not a big perfume person. Uh, I've heard Logical Harmony talk about this brand, which is why I know that they are cruelty free and vegan friendly. And they do have like a little sample set if you wanna try a bunch of them out. So may have to purchase that at some point in the future just to kind of test them out. I occasionally wear perfume, but not that often. So I'm not like the perfume expert by any means. Now the next one is Derma E, and I feel like I have talked about them on here before. They are 100% vegan, and um, they have sales sometimes on Ulta where it's like buy one get one half off. I don't know if they have that right now. We are in Ulta's 21 Days of Beauty, at least at the time that I am filming this. Um, and I believe I saw that special. I'll go see. But um, Logical Harmony again rec recommends them all the time, so have to put them on here. The next one is Deva Curl, and um, I used one of their products for my hair. I got it like as a deluxe sample size thing, and it is obviously meant for curly hair, and my hair is um, naturally curly wavy. Uh, a lot of the times I will straighten it so it won't be like as curly wavy as it could be, and yeah, obviously sometimes it's more curly than others. It just does what it wants. Right now, my bangs are just like driving me nuts because I need to need to get my hair cut, honestly, but yeah. Um, so I wanted to throw them in here. The next one is Dose of Colors, and I have not tried anything from this brand. I don't know why that is. I know a lot of people absolutely love their liquid lipsticks, and I know they just had a collaboration with a YouTuber. So I feel like I should. They're now at Ulta. They obviously have not always been there. They're kind of new to Ulta, but they are cruelty free and have vegan options. It says on their website, what is vegan friendly? So wanted to throw that in here. The next one is Formula 10.0.6. And um, I actually had never heard of this brand. I originally saw them on Ulta's website and I emailed them about their um, vegan friendly options. They're cruelty free. Obviously they are or wouldn't be including them in this video. They have a lot of vegan options as well. And they also have a lot of skincare that's like for acne prone skin. As I was kind of going through their products, I noticed that and I'm like, definitely we need to check them out because I get a lot of acne, unfortunately. So the next brand I have is Hemp's and I haven't seen them anywhere but Ulta. I'm sure they're sold other places. I have one of their lotions that I have mentioned on here before. It's like their white peach, rose, and peony, and I'm gonna have to use this now, but um, I really like this, and I just got a little sample size because I didn't know if I was gonna like it or not, and I've heard other people talk about this brand. They're 100% vegan as well, and it smells really good, really moisturizing. They have a ton of different scents as well, so would definitely recommend them if you like to use lotion. They also have like a shave gel. They have like some body washes. They have all sorts of things. Um, the next one is Laura Geller, and I personally don't have anything from Laura Geller. Um, if you are interested in vegan options, I did email them about that, and they said to ask about specific products. So if you're looking at a specific pro product and you want to know if it is vegan friendly, you have to email them and ask. Uh, but yeah, I don't actually own anything from them, but I know a lot of people do, so throwing it in there. Uh, the next one is Lipstick Queen, and I purchased one of their lipsticks during Alta's 21 Days of Beauty sale, and I can't decide if I like this lipstick or not. I don't think anything's wrong with it. I think it's just the fact that originally it is $24. I got it on sale for $14, which it's still on sale at the time that I'm filming this. So, couldn't tell you my overall opinion yet. I'm still testing that out, but they're cruelty free and have vegan options, so I wanted to throw it in. Uh, the next one is Makeup Revolution, and I have mentioned them on here before. They do have a lot of vegan options, and when I was going through Tam Beauty's website, which I will link down below, I noticed that their website actually tells you what is vegan and what is not, where the Makeup Revolution website doesn't do that, and Ulta's website also doesn't do that. So if you're looking on Ulta and you're not sure, uh, I would suggest cross-referencing on Tam Beauty. I'm planning on making a vegan list myself for makeup revolution but um in the meantime just throwing that out there because i noticed that and i was just like what why does this website say and i haven't seen that before 
But yeah, I love Makeup Revolution, very affordable and yeah, love them. So the next one is Mali Beauty and I had emailed them about their vegan friendly options and they said that they were transitioning um, to making everything vegan friendly and for certain products to ask. And I do have a highlighter and blush from them that I really like. I did buy it during Ulta's 21 Days of Beauty in the spring and I haven't purchased anything else from them but I really like those two things so thought I'd throw them in. The next one is Murad. Murad? Murad? What? Can't speak. I know a lot of people really love this skincare brand and um, they're another company where when I emailed them about vegan friendly options, they said to email them with specific products that you were curious about. So if you are curious about them, you can email them about their products. Um, I haven't tried anything from them as well. I just know a lot of people really, really like this brand and they are cruelty free, so. Yay, cruelty-free skincare. So the next one is Ofra Cosmetics, and I own a few of their liquid lipsticks as well as some of their highlighters. Um, they Some of their highlighters were on sale, or was it all their highlighters, were on sale one of the days during 21 Days of Beauty as well. They're also new to Sephora. I don't think they have all of their products on there yet because I was looking for a specific lip color and I didn't see it on there. So I don't think they've fully transitioned to being on Alto's website. Um, but I really like their liquid lipsticks. I know some people don't, and I think depending on formula, it probably varies because they do have a lot of different um, finishes. So honestly, probably depends, but I've liked everything that I have tried so far. The next two I feel like I have mentioned quite a few times on here. I have uh, Pacifica and Pure Cosmetics. Um, I did just purchase a primer from Pure and I have like a setting spray from them. I have quite a few things from them as well as Pacifica. Pacifica also has a lot of um, skincare that I like and they're 100% vegan. Uh, Pure Cosmetics tells you on their website if a specific product is vegan or not. And I really like both of these brands. They're just kind of like, I can't explain it. They feel like brands that I would naturally gravitate towards, like very holistic, um, cruelty free obviously and yeah I like all their stuff um, like their skincare stuff because they don't smell like overpowering it just kind of smells like nature and that's <laughs> what I personally like I don't like things that are just really overpowering in, in your face so I really like that about those brands. The next one is Real Techniques and I have some of their brushes as well as one of their sponges their little miracle sponge that is shaped like a diamond is my favorite sponge. I use it legit every single day. Um, and they are cruelty free, so yay. And I think all of their brushes are vegan friendly, if I'm not mistaken. I will double check on that, but I feel like they are. But um, yeah, really like them as well. The very last one I have is Tree Hut, and I actually didn't realize that you could buy Tree Hut at like, um, I think it was Walgreens that I saw it, so you can get them other places other than Ulta and totally did not realize that, but they are a skincare brand. They have like body scrubs and things and um, I tried one thing from them recently and it smelled, oh, it smelled so good. I just love things that smell good um, and I felt like it worked really well, so gonna have to check out this brand more. They are also 100% vegan. So that is my uh, list for you guys. I'm not really sure because I post a cruelty free video every Sunday and I'm not really sure for the next one what to post. Uh, I feel like for the nail polish video I still need to test out a few more to give a full review of different cruelty free nail polishes. So if there are any cruelty free videos that you guys want to see, please let me know. I can definitely do that because I have some ideas, but there's like no point in taping them if y'all aren't interested in them. <laughs> so we definitely uh, appreciate suggestions or just whatever you guys would like to see. But uh, that is it for this video. If you did like this video, please be sure to like and subscribe and hit the bell and all of that jazz. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you later. Bye.